Okay, I'll be right there. Help. Denise, help. Hi, we're Steve and Denise of Van Life Midlife Rocks. We've road tripped across North America in our customized road trek camper van, exploring Canada and the US. We would love to bring you along on our upcoming adventures and discovery of exciting new places. Hello there! Welcome to Van Life Midlife Rocks Christmas Special. It's that time of year that we are buying presents for our loved ones. And we are in the Christmas spirit, as you can see, in our Christmas PJs and socks, ugly Christmas sweater. What? Be <laughs> ugly. Don't buy that. We're going to go over our list of our top 10 gift recommendations for our viewers. Sound good? Sounds good to me. Oh, wait, but. Um... Is there going to be eggnog? There will be a warm beverage. A warm beverage? I'm not going to give mm. that away yet, though. All right. Okay. So, starting from the top, number one, my recommendation... In no particular order. No, I still think this is number one. Whenever possible, I believe in giving the gift of an experience. So, this is my top recommendation in Canada, a national park pass. This is the Discovery Pass. It's good for over 80 locations in Canada for up to seven people in one vehicle. We buy it every year. It's $139.50, good for the whole year. We use it at uh, Pacific Rim National Park on Vancouver Island, and we've used it in Jasper and Banff. Awesome gift. Yeah, and, and it's also, it's great for lots of lesser known um, parks in Canada as well. Also, we should mention that um, the prices that we're quoting today are Canadian dollars, just FYI. Yeah. Okay, number two on our list. Uh, because we're in a Class B um, camper van, storage space is a premium. So we're always looking for things that take up less space. And that's why I, well, we really love collapsible stuff. This, for example, is a collapsible basin. Now, I do 99% of the dishes while we're in the van, so I really appreciate. It's one of the reasons I love camping. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so that's our collapsible dish basin, and this is the accompanying collapsible dish rack. Now, I'm not gonna tell you what I paid for this. <laughs> um, I mean, I'm kind of embarrassed about how much I paid for this because I think it was like $80 or something ridiculous. I just had to have it because, well, I mean, obvious. Look at it. It's beautiful. So, whoa, that's very, very handy. It takes up not very much space. We have a bunch of these collapsible bowls, which fit nicely into a drawer and they're very versatile. They weren't expensive, those. No, they weren't expensive. The dish rack really was the only thing that was really expensive. And? And thank you. And we also have um, this collapsible bucket, which has, you know, lots of uh, different uses. If you're going to the beach, whatever, it's nice to have a bucket. Now, I did use this as a, tried to use this as a toilet one time and discovered that it's <laughs> a little too collapsible for some <laughs> things. Yeah, but anyways. That's another story. So yeah, collapsible stuff. We love it. And it can be a bit pricey, but it's worth it. Now, over to Denise for number three. Number three. All right, reaching down here. This one we just got. It's still in the packaging. This is a camp cooker from uh, Cabela's. I call it a camp panini maker. So. This thing's so much fun. You can make pie or grilled cheese sandwiches or all kinds of goodies, whatever you can dream up, basically, over the campfire. Well, how uh, does it work? 
I know it's still it's still like I gotta I need scissors to open it up. Okay, but you open it up and then you, what, yeah. you put your stuff in there and yeah, see there's a picture of it open. Oh, okay. And it's non-stick and you put bread in there and you could put like apple pie filling in and make apple pie, um, toast sandwiches. It's got a hinge on it. It's easy to clean. I think it was like 20 bucks or something like that at Cabela's. These are fun. I love these. Nice. Yeah. Number three. Can't wait to try it out. Yeah. Next on our list is item number four. Thank you. You're welcome. This little guy is a JBL Flip 5 Bluetooth speaker. And like lots of other RVers, we tend to uh, download um, stuff off Netflix onto our iPad. And if it's a rainy day or we just feel like watching a bit of uh, TV, then we'll just uh, lay in bed and watch Netflix on our uh, iPad. And this little guy delivers theater quality sound in such a tiny little package. It really does um, give really good sound. Um, How much was it? I I think it was around $150, um, give or take. And, and we'll, of course, um, post links to this stuff as well. Um, I really recommend. This is just such a high quality, great sounding little device. Love it. Yeah, it's great. Yeah. Now, of course, along with laying in bed and watching movies, there's uh, quite often we'll have popcorn and, you know, it can be a bit messy, all that popcorn in bed, but damn it, we're camping and it's worth it. And we're roughing we're it. We're roughing it. That's yeah. right. We're roughing it. <laughs> so there you go. Item number four, JBL Flip 5 speaker. Good one. Number five. Number five. Number five are insulated travel mugs. So I know that travel mugs can be a personal choice, but I really don't think you can go wrong with a good quality travel mug. So mine is a Stanley from L.L. Bean, and it was about 50 bucks, but I love it. It definitely keeps my coffee warm for, you know, a couple hours, and I think that's great. Love it. Steve got his from Starbucks, and it was cheaper. I think it was like 30 bucks. How yep. do you like yours, though, Steve? <laughs> um, I I like it. I like the shape of it, and, and the lid screws on there nicely, but honest to God, this keeps the coffee too hot for too long. Um, I'm pretty sure that I could drive across Canada <laughs> and pour this in the morning, and yeah, by the time I got to the Atlantic provinces, it would still be hot. That's crazy. Yeah. I think the secret would be to like only put like this much coffee in, and then maybe some... Well, I sometimes if I went to Starbucks, I would get them to throw in a couple ice cubes just so that I could drink it within, you know, the next hour. Yeah. But hey, if you're looking for something that keeps it ridiculously hot, <laughs> then Starbucks stainless is the way to go. I like mine. Yeah. L.L. Bean Stanley. I might get a new one. I don't know. We'll see. <laughs> Christmas is coming after all. That is true. Yeah. All right. Item number six are camp chairs. Now... We've had a real progression with our um, with our camp chairs. In fact, we started out, excuse me for one second. We originally <laughs> bought these guys, which, you know, they do fit underneath the back um, couch here, but they take up an inordinate amount of room. And um, we just found that, we just thought there had to be something better. They were and comfy. They were very comfortable, yeah, but they're just too big for, for the limited space that we have. So, toss that one away. The progression continued and we ended up purchasing these little chairs, which as you can see, they're quite a bit more compact than our original choice, but they came with their own set of problems. Well, at least for me. <laughs> Okay, I'll be right there. <laughs> Help. <laughs> Denise. Help.
see what I mean? Yeah, so that was no good. They had to go. <laughs> now. These ones are nice though. Yes, we discovered these through Amazon and these are actually a knockoff of the Helinox. Helinox brand chair, thank you. Uh, which are about $180 each. And again, Canadian dollars. So these guys were, I remember them being between $40 and, and $60 each. Yeah. And they're very comfortable. They're very compact. And they snap together really quickly, which I'm going to show you right now. So comfortable. Can you get out of the chair though? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Item number six, this compact chair, trust me, this is a super comfortable and reliable chair. You're gonna love it. And we'll put a link below. Number seven is the new camp cookbook. We just got this and are really looking forward to getting more creative with our camping cooking. This was $36 and we are trying out recipe on page 202 called Camp Chai. So you make this uh, concentrate, which I've made, and I've already made some black tea. So we're gonna try it out for you. Excellent. Nice and steaming. So usually chai tea you simmer away on the stove for hours, but this is a way to make camp chai. So you make this concentrate ahead of time and then you stir it into your hot tea. So it says to put in a couple tablespoons of this stuff to taste. So this is... Now, just so you know, the recipe um, calls for just sweet and condensed milk, but because Denise is vegan, um, she made her own sweetened non-dairy condensed mm. milk. Okay, I'm gonna say use it generously. <laughs> <laughs> so vegan sweetened condensed milk is um, full fat coconut milk from a can simmered down and then this has ginger cloves, cardamom, and gin ginger cloves, cinnamon. And, so. and I, I'm telling you, I know you, you can't possibly know that but it smells See if you like it if you want more delicious let me just taste that mm -hmm. I like mine do you yeah, want more good yeah I might have one more little uh okay. I mean the sweeter the better right and it's then Christmas. and then you just put a lid on this and you keep it in the fridge and then you can add it to your tea or coffee I guess whenever yeah. you want I like it it's delicious yeah so that cookbook we as Denise said we can't wait to um to try some more recipes in it. Good Yum. stuff. Oh, that's good. Cheers. Cheers. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. If you're hiking, camping, or traveling in bear country, then bear spray is an absolute necessity. It does not eliminate the need to be bear aware and to follow park guidelines um, concerning bears, but if you're out and about in an area where there are bears or there could be bears present, then absolutely you should have this um, attached to your hip. It comes with a holster. I think the bear spray was about $40. The holster, holster was another $10 or $15. Um, the other thing to remember about bear spray, it's kind of like a fire extinguisher. They don't last forever. Um, this one does have an expiry date on it. So you want to make sure that uh, every season, just to make sure that you've got a, um, a current 
um, canister of bear spray that's ready to protect you if need be. Very important. Good one. What's next, Denise? Number nine. Number nine. I love this one. The Coleman Camp Oven. This is probably the favorite item on my list, and it wasn't even expensive. I got this off Amazon for about $50. That's it. But it is fun. We've had so much fun with this lightweight, collapsible stovetop oven. We've made pizza and muffins and cookies. We even had a famous chef come to... Um, a French chef. That's true. Come to Where our was van. was he German? I can't remember. <laughs> he now. might have been Chinese. <laughs> he might have been. I'm not sure. He was famous, though. Uh, yes, he was famous. And we have a video with Chef Gascon making in this oven a vegan birthday cake. Pour moi. Yes. yes. We will leave a link below. It's worth checking out. <laughs> and, uh, and just as a safety reminder, just be aware that... Um, this does produce some hot surfaces, so if you're using it, be aware that the outside of it can get very hot. But this is a great gift. Safety first. Yeah. But it's a great gift. It's a great gift. Yeah. Buy, buy this for your RV loved ones. Okay. Number 10 on the list. This is definitely a big ticket item. This is a Jackery 1000 Lithium Ion Power Pack. And it retails for about 1300 bucks Canadian. So it's not cheap. This but is... let me tell you, <laughs> I love this thing. This is, this is the, one of the best purchases we've ever made. Um, it powers a ton of stuff for us. Uh, primarily, we use it for recharging our laptops and you know all the stuff that we use um, for generating content for YouTube. But it can be used for a multitude of appliances, coffee maker, blow dryer, um, all sorts of stuff. Um, it's perfectly safe. Um, it is compact. It's light. It um, has three AC outlets which as you can see right now is powering our little Christmas tree. That's really why we bought it. So we could have this Christmas tree in here. It also, um, it also has USB uh, B and USB C ports. And it can be, I'll tell you how we charge it. We plug it into an AC outlet at home. It takes a few hours to charge it up to 100%. And then it's just a powerhouse that we take along with us. You can also charge it while you're on the road through um, solar panels, which Jackery does sell. But in my opinion, they're pretty pricey and we just didn't bother getting those, maybe in the future. But um, you can charge it, as I say, with solar or you can charge it with a cigarette lighter at, while you're traveling. Or you can just uh, plug it into an AC outlet and charge it. Um, while you're out and about. And uh, what else? It comes in, they, they do have different models, different sizes. So this is the Jackery Explorer 1000. So it's a thousand watts. They have different models, 500 watts, and I believe they even have a smaller one. Jackery is a great product. All their products are fantastic. Highly recommend it. We'll put a link below. The other thing that this has, and I'm just gonna turn this around to show you, It even has a flashlight mode. But I have to be honest, I felt a little ridiculous wandering around the campsite <laughs> with this as a flashlight. I don't know, uh, I just felt kind of silly. But we love this unit. And if you really love somebody, really love them, <laughs> and you want to spend a whole whack of money on them, then this is the way to go. Um, it also comes with all sorts of um, you know, cables and, and so on that come with it. So great item. Love it. So that wraps up our top 10 list for Christmas presents for RVers. We hope you had fun. We had fun putting this together. And if you have any other ideas that you'd like to share with us, please just leave a comment below. Of course, we do recognize that truly the greatest gift is spending time with family. And we are really looking forward to spending Christmas with our family. We'd also like to recognize that many British Columbians may not be able to spend Christmas in their homes this year due to the flooding, and our hearts go out to them.
We recently surpassed 230 subscribers and we'd like to thank all of you very much for coming along for the ride and supporting us. Uh, we really appreciate it and we look forward to bringing you more journeys and more adventures um, in, the coming, in the coming months. For now, we'll wish you a Merry Christmas from Van Life Midlife Rocks. Merry Christmas.